Oh, we we've got a very exciting video today. Joining with me is Casino. What is up, Casino? What's going on? We're gonna talk about Shield Medic right here behind me, potentially coming to the game. We're gonna talk about Mysterio, and we're gonna talk about how Mysterio is coming to the game. We're gonna talk about the Phoenix event and all the cool things that happen with Phoenix and how Phoenix is playing out inside of their arena. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about the data mine and the mods coming to the game. Are you ready to do this? Always, let's get into it. Okay, what is showing behind me right here is the recent Mysterio Team Up Tales episode 11. And tell me what is so strange about this clip right here behind me. Uh, well, I think it's a bit of a promotional stunt, but uh, every time people watch any of the Team Up Tales, they always ask, how come that's male shield medic and in game we have female shield medic. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what they do, a little interesting tease perhaps, is right they here. show- Right here, look at that, look at that right there. Right there, medic. we've got like an in-game model of him, right? Yep, uh, some some fake stats, but uh, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So that means one of two things. What do you think one of the two things are? Uh, well, it certainly could mean that uh, shield medic is getting a skin. Well, they've talked about doing skins for some time, and the skins idea was introduced briefly for Deadpool way back in the day. They said that they want to do it, they could possibly do it, or two, they could come out with a S.H.I.E.L.D. medic character. Phil Coulson's in the current art, and then we've also had Cyclops. I mean, when are these characters coming? What are your thoughts on that? We're theorizing that the new Milestone character could be Coulson or Cyclops, but yeah, there just hasn't been any information, so we don't know. Okay, speaking of Cyclops, we got to talk about Dark Phoenix, and because uh, there's a lot of things about it. I mean, I know for me, a couple things. We're going to talk about the Phoenix it felt itself and how it played out. We're going to talk about the horribleness of Hand Assassin and Nobu again. Then we're going to talk about the Phoenix X-Men team in its current shape without Cyclops. And then we're going to talk about how you're using Phoenix inside of the arena up at the, against Ultrons and all that. Firstly, let's talk about the vent. What are your thoughts about the vent? Uh, well, I, I think we got Fox next it pretty hard. So when they pulled the rug out from under us and announced that it was a six star unlock, they also said that it was going to be the toughest legendary event ever. It was and not tough. And we thought, well, if they are changing up the star unlock, maybe they're changing up the difficulty of the event as well. So I overprepared, let's just yeah. say. I, I went for the seven star unlock, but I got my team to like 210,000. I had people messaging me with 240,000 power teams. Like, I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Yeah. And then I track the stats for the lowest reported unlocks. I make an infographic for it. And mm -hmm. the, the lowest reported power for the six star one was like 94,000 power for the whole team. Yeah, I was so, way over ready for the event. It was way easier yeah. than I thought, which, you know, when I think about difficult events, I think about the blaster challenge, right? Like, how hard is that? That's pretty difficult. Falcon makes it much easier, but okay. yeah, it's, it's right. Still but it's tough. that is that is very difficult, right? So, uh, you know, this was not hard. Now brings me to my number one complaint, and this will be probably the third or the fourth time I brought this up in a video, but I got to bring it up almost every time. Is back in August of last year in their dev blog post in response to community outrage about. Uh, Cree minions being required for Nick Fury, they were very explicit in saying that they were going to make characters that were required for legendary events to make them useful. And they said that they were going to rebalance them or make them uh, have better synergy. What are your thoughts about Hand Assassin and Nobu? So unpopular opinion time, and I'm, I'm sorry to be this guy. Uh, they definitely said that they wouldn't require bad characters for legendary events. However, I kind of give them a pass on this because Nobu's not terrible, he's not great, but Nobu's like, all right. Like there are instances where, where Nobu's good. Um, so I don't think he's a complete waste of resources, although he's definitely lower priority than, than at least half the roster. Mm -hmm. um, and then Hand Assassin is objectively bad, but, <laughs> but Nobu's good. Uh, you're, so you're saying Nobu's uh, ready the trap is is a basic ability right there. <laughs> uh, well, so so hear me out. With enough people on the field, if you if you have a bunch of summons, and so like the the team that they gave us, Ronin was a summoner, and then uh, who else? I've already forg forgotten who else was on this team. I really uh, want to cut you off. This is trash. This is trash right here. It needs to do something nope. else. It needs to do, like do a cleanse or a little bit of damage 
or a give offense up or something else. I mean, just I disagree. It, first of I'll all, tell I, understand, you why. I understand, but it could be cleared. And counterattacks are not that great. They're good, but they're not the best. And this thing has a three turn cooldown. You can't even use it to the third turn. That's what sucks about it. No, no, that's that's why it's terrible. Okay. If this were turn one, it'd be awesome. All it's I'm trying to say is that you're right. Hand Assassin is objectively bad. Nobu is debatable. I mean, the hand team is not good anymore. I mean, they're they're barely no. usable even in Blitz. And if we're going to be required to get these to six stars and seven stars and you use them inside of uh, to get uh, Phoenix, they need to make good on their word from last August and actually make them a little bit better. I'm only asking for is a slight rework, maybe just to this uh, ability right here and maybe give uh, damage boost to hand assassin and I would be good. What do you think? Let me give counterpoint because I love being called Fox next chill in the comments. That's that's why I got to say this. I'm just kidding. Because again, it's like one and a half bad characters. And so like, for example, having to take Hand Assassin to seven stars is the reason I'm going to hit the seven star Relic Hunt next time it comes around. It's the only reason. Hmm. And the other thing is I never mind powering up these mediocre characters because any character with enough health and enough damage does okay even if they're just a stat wall so like again hand assassin is an objectively bad character but my hand assassin is now like 35k or something and while yeah. i would have rather put those resources into someone else in alliance war it's still a 35k character that can take a hit well and dish a hit well for the gamma raids there is a lane where i i do use hand characters so it's not my first choice to upgrade but i try to always right. look on the the bright side which is I still made my roster stronger. There's there's seven and there hands, will be and my blade master has a higher priority than hand assassin, so that is oh, not sure. good. All right, we got to talk about two things. We're going to talk about the Phoenix team in general, just like our raw Phoenix team. And I'm going to go into Blitz right now, so you guys can talk about it. I'm going to go into Tier Eight. And I'm going to play just like the, the the Phoenix team that we can use, not the Phoenix team, the X Men team, right? Yeah. Definitely the X-Men team, but, okay. but you can call them the Phoenix team, really. All right, yes. Okay, so what are your thoughts about this team right now, given that we don't have Cyclops? Uh, I think they're, they are they live up to the hype. At the end of the day, I've used a pure X-Men team and beaten Ultron teams in Arena. Uh, Phoenix is an insanely powerful character, and with Phoenix on the team, Colossus is the best tank in the game. So, yeah, they're just really, really fearsome. Yeah, uh, and I, hybrids I, are better, but... Yeah, and I, I gotta say, I, her passive, uh, Phoenix passive, is a must-have no-brainer, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, so, the, I mean, she has to have the passive. Now, the other thing I want to say is uh, where I fall into the arena, which is, uh, you know, around 100, you know what I mean? And I we're both on the same whale shard, right? And um, yep. I see 200,000 power... Uh, X-Men teams battling anywhere from 250 to 290,000 teams consistently. Oh, and yeah, they can punch up like 100K. The, the biggest punch up I've seen from an X-Men team so far is 140,000. Yes, so they are no joke. Uh, I personally am not getting full benefit out of them, but I'm I'm gonna give them a pass until I put the the purple mats. And she's getting the purple mats next. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm waiting for the purple mats to make that happen, and uh, then I will make my decision on whether I like them or not. I'm not really sure, but right now I'm kind of a little underwhelmed because I don't have the purples on. Now, are you using her? Are you seeing her right now as an individual standalone character against Ultron? Because I'm understanding is that Ultron just absolutely dominates the top of the arena he does but so like i said i i've used a pure x-men team without my ultron and beat another ultron so she is able to the combo i'm saying that you have to have is phoenix and colossus okay i think they're they're a two for i mean she is incredibly effective on her own but what she does for colossus just makes him the best tank in the game and so while you don't need the best tank in the game to make full use of her offense uh you know it's it's just another bonus to have the best tank in the game we gotta on the do same the, team. As we got to do this on one X now. This is not going to be 140,000, but this is still going to be pretty significant damage considering that the opponent does not have uh, defense down, 79,000. And if he had defense down, I'm sure that number would be like 150,000 or something crazy. Uh, that's a lot of fun, Wolverine right? Would get, Wolverine would get offense up if he was below 50% too. But yeah, I've seen some, some massive... 
crits from that. Uh, Wolverine can one-shot people with the fastball special for sure. Yeah, quite fun. Uh, so I'm a fan. Um, so it seems like it is definitely a Colossus-Phoenix combo. Uh, we kind of see a lot of that right now. You know, Magneto and Juggernaut, great. Uh, Nick Fury and security. Uh, it seems to be this reoccurring thing happening all the time. So it does live up to the hype. Is that what you're saying? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix is 100% worthy of being considered the linchpin of the Apex Arena team. Now, just one thing I want to throw out there, too. Uh, you, you said you see a lot of the Magneto juggernaut. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhino completely trivializes Magneto. So yeah. I just find that entertaining. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, you yep. Just run Rhino. yeah, and they didn't even bring that up when they talked about uh, Rhino. But yeah, they, nope. yeah, yeah, and he doesn't attack with his taunt, which is... Uh, I thoroughly approve of rhino entirely except for his his animation you know or the rhino knot steel not a fan let's talk about the data mine and the data mine that's coming out first thing we're going to be getting shocker when shocker coming out uh according to the data mines shocker will be in blitz on the 11th and the 18th of july mm -hmm. which uh means that you've got a little bit of time to prep for the shocker blitz but also it looks like they're returning to doing featured character blitzes on thursdays mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's good Okay. Definitely my preference. And then we got to talk about Mysterio. Did you see the movie? What are your thoughts of the movie? I did see the movie. Uh, again, it's been an unpopular opinion. I enjoyed it. I'm not saying the movie's bad, but I wasn't... Almost everyone else who's seen it is like, oh, this is a, an amazing movie. I loved it. And I was like, yeah, I, I, 7 out of 10. It was good. Um, yeah, I liked it. I probably liked it a little more than you. It was definitely like an 8 out of 10 for me. Like, I was thoroughly entertained. I think I could watch it again. Kind of makes sense now why they didn't want to release his traits on whether he was a hero or a villain or whether he was tech or mystic. We will not spoil it, but the movie definitely suggests how he's going to play out in game and whether or not maybe he'll have the Sinister Six. We will see. We don't know. Of course, Marvel Strike Force can do whatever they want, right? Yeah, I mean, it, Winter Soldier's a villain and Yondu's a villain, so. Yeah, typically yeah, if a character has ever played a villain, they give it the, the villain role, correct? Yeah, they, they kind of do whatever they want for gameplay balance purposes. Correct, and uh, we'll see what happens because uh, there is a big difference between tech and mystic, correct? <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, some, some teams have a really good synergy. Yeah, uh, and I don't want to so, spoil well, the movie, so I'm not going to give my thoughts on that yet. I probably will give it a week, and then I will talk about it. But, uh, you know, go see the movie if you don't want it spoiled. That's my feeling about that. Uh, or hurry, go see it as soon as you can. Next, we have to talk about mods. And um, what, is the, what is the take that you're getting from your community, like in the Twitch chat on mods? Uh, well, a lot of fear and a lot of dread, and it's mostly coming from people who've played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes yeah. going, yeah. oh, no, the end is near. Uh, a lot of a lot of doomsday predictions, uh, which is, you know, for any big change to the game, that's usually what's come along with it. Um, yeah. Although, to be fair, not not always entirely unwarranted. The, the first uh, iteration of Red Stars was definitely a bit of a disaster. I have to agree with you, too, is that uh, most of the community I've been seeing absolutely hates mods, do not want to get involved, but I think that has to do with the experience with the Galaxy of Heroes. The jury is out, but for me, if they have speed, and speed is the alpha stat, the best stat, and it's some sort of random mechanic on what boosts the speed, I will never be a fan, and I think that's fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty opposed to, to speed mods. Uh, and yeah, my community has definitely said they don't want speed mods. And I, I fortunately, from the data mines, it doesn't look like we'll be getting right. speed mods. Yeah, there's the data mine right there on the screen, and it doesn't look like they're going to be speed. So I, I think it can be a good mechanic. I think this is a mechanic that's in every single hero collector game. And I'm going to trust that the development team knows. I know, in fact, that they know that we really are skeptical of the speed mechanic on mods. I, I know they know that. So that is a good thing. Anything you want to say before we go? Tell us about your uh, being on the front page of Twitch and all of that good stuff. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so uh, coming up, we, we have a tentative date right now, but it's looking like July 16th, I'm going to be doing a Marvel Strike Force stream that will be on the front page of Twitch. Uh, all my sponsors are doing a bunch of giveaways, so you can come win some stuff. Uh, the community manager is going to be hanging out for a live Q&A. You can actually submit hmm. questions I'm going to be picking from to ask the community manager uh, on my Discord server. There's a channel for it. And uh, among other things, he's also going to have some swag bags if you want to win some uh, Marvel Strike Force posters and... Uh, what else has he got? Comic books, um, stuff like that. So be sure to go over to Casino's channel and check out the very 
uh, lengthy discussion that we had about mods. If you're not sure what mods are and you want to know about mods and how we impact the game, that video is at least 30 minutes long, maybe 40 minutes long, uh, yeah. where we really got into it. So be sure to head over to Casino's video. Do you want to do the giveaway? Uh, oh, you put me on the spot? Yeah. All right. right. Yeah, I got something for okay, you. Okay, do the giveaway. Uh, what is it for everyone that likes the video? <laughs> All right. Well, now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you like this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes it's this everyone video, who likes the video, everyone who likes this video will be getting a free. What are they going to get for free? All right. You guys are going to get a free 2000 damage mod. Okay. There we go. A 2000 percent point eight damage mod. This is not a scam. It's pretty OP. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, hopefully it's not that bad. We will see. Be sure to go check out that video. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.